Kevin Jerome. I am Argus Tori. I am Vinay Ra. And then Raj, faculty guide of this project. This is how the indoor navigation system would look like. It consists of multiple LED bulbs, each of which is assigned with a unique ID. They continuously transmit their ID into the open space. When the user with the custom-made receiver stands below one of the bulbs, it decodes the bulb's ID and identifies its current position in the building. This is a system-level diagram of our project. The section on the top is the transmitter and the section below constitutes the receiver. The transmitter primarily includes an MCU which stores the unique ID of the bulb and switches the bulb to transmit the ID with the help of a MOSFET based switching circuit. The receiver consists of an ambient light sensor followed by a signal conditioning circuit which gives a digital output corresponding to the received light pulses. The MCU then decodes the ID of the bulb below which the user is standing and plots the user's current position on the map displayed on the LCD module. The receiver also includes a keypad which allows the user to enter his destination. The following are the components from Texas Instruments that we used in our project. In the initial stages of our design, we used a commercially available bulb comprising of three high power LEDs amounting to 5 watts of power. We tweaked into the bulb and drew the positive supply, ground and an intermediate wire for switching. As for the switching of the bulb to transmit its ID, we made an embeddable switching circuit as shown. The design of the circuit would be explained at a later point of time in the video. Although we were able to switch the commercial bulb to transmit data, due to the fact that they are costly and that we required multiple transmitters for the demonstration, we decided to make our own bulbs. For making our own bulbs, we designed the PCB layout and printed the circuit using Tornard transform method. We then soldered 10 one watt LEDs in series onto the board. Once the bulb was done, we went on to design the switching circuit for the scene and later on fabricated the printed circuit board. Once the transmitted circuit was completed, we scripted the code for the MCU using TI Code Composer Studio and transferred the code using TI MSV430 Launchpad. With the microcontroller loaded into the switching circuit, the next step was to complete the wiring between the switching circuit and the LED bulbs. Now the transmitter circuit is ready. The transmitter is powered using a 35V DC supply and the 3.3V required for the microcontroller is obtained using a low dropout regulator UA78M33. The microcontroller is connected to the MOSFET CSD18503. The P1.0 of the MSP430 G2101 is connected to the gate of the MOSFET. The ID of the transmitter, which is 0xB1 here, is sent from P1.0 to the MOSFET bit by bit at a rate of 2 kilobits per second. The drain of the MOSFET is then connected to the negative of the 10 series LEDs at the back and the positive of the 35 volt DC power supply is connected to the positive of the LEDs. We fabricated 12 identical transmitters and assigned them unique 8-bit IDs derived based on Hamming code techniques. We codenamed them with alphabets from A to L. Our next task was to design a receiver which would help in the navigation process by using the ID of the bulb under which the user stands. The receiver consists of an ambient light sensor, the TEMT6000. The signal from this ambient light sensor is passed through a first order high pass filter which is then fed into an instrumentation amplifier. The instrumentation amplifier that we used was the INA129 from Texas Instruments. It amplifies the very feeble signal and then sends it through another 
first of all a high pass filter and then to a comparator the comparator used here was the TLV3701 it then converts the analog signal into a digital signal which is then passed through an op amp based half wave rectifier the microcontrollers are powered using a UA78M33 low dropout regulator and the microcontrollers used here are MSB430G2553. The first microcontroller is used to interface the keypad and also accepts signal from the signal conditioning circuit. The second microcontroller is used to control the graphic LCD and we have also included a reset button to reset both the microcontrollers and the receiver is powered using two 9 volt batteries. In order to demonstrate the indoor navigation system in real world, we install the 12 VLC bulbs in our lab at the same height as the existing light bulbs, forming a 3x4 matrix. The arrangement of the bulbs is as shown. We conducted a trial by having a user come into the room and use a receiver to navigate to a destination of his choice. The user entered the destination as D. The user is currently located under the LED name J. Based on the ID received from the LED bulb above the user, the receiver module displays the shortest path to the destination. As the user moves forward and advances each LED bulb above him, the receiver updates the path to the destination from the user's current position. Ultimately, the user has reached his destination, D. Now let's see the receiver module from the user's perspective. 